Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing this peel off base coat as well as show you how to remove your gel polish nails with peel off base coat and I'm also going to be showing you how long they can last and how easy it is to peel them off with this peel off base coat. And by the way, I do have dried nail glue on my nails, so they're not looking amazing right now, but that will change later in the video when I do the manicure. So I got this from Amazon for around $12, I believe is pronounced Muran, Muran, but I am not 100% sure, but that is just what I'm going to be calling it throughout the video. So it is a gel polish base coat, so you do need a curing lamp for it. So a few highlights about this product is that it is tin toxin free, which means that the top 10 most toxic chemicals that tend to be in a lot of nail products are not in this peel off base coat. So that is really nice and it is also vegan and cruelty free. Taking a look at the bottle, it is a 10 milliliter bottle. It's a pretty good sized one and I definitely think the amount is totally worth the money. And I also love the little flowers and plants on the bottle. They're just so cute. It's definitely the thickest base coat I have ever used. It is really, really thick, but it is not hard to use. It applies really nicely. Which brings me to the next part of the video. So the first thing I am going to be trying out with this peel off base coat is just applying the peel off base coat without prepping my nails, no buffing, no pushing back my cuticles, no dehydrator or anything like that. Just putting it right onto my natural nails and then applying of course a gel color and then a top coat and seeing if I can peel it off right away and how easy or hard it is. I'm just going to try it out on one of my nails. So here you can see I am applying the peel off base coat and then I am putting it into the lamp for 30 seconds because that is the directions on the bottle. Since it is a bit thick, it does help add a little bit of structure to your nails. So now I just decided on a color just for this test and I did two coats of this gel polish, cured it, and did my second coat and then of course cured it again and then finished with the top coat. Now I'm going to show you how I peeled it off and if I could do it easily. So I'm going to start out with this little metal tool here and just go around the edges with it. And once you kind of get it started, it is really easy to peel off. Sometimes it will come off in one whole piece and sometimes it'll be a few pieces. In this case, it was three pieces, but it was still super easy. And like I said before, it'll only be this easy if you do not prep your nails at all. So this is a great method for any of you guys that like to peel off your nails right away or within one day. A little tip for any of you that might be struggling with peel off base coat, it does sometimes help if you do two layers of peel off base coat that might help you peel it off a little bit easier. So I definitely recommend trying that if you have been struggling with it. There might be sometimes dried gel left on your nail and this is super easy to get off. So you can either buff it off or you can use acetone, really whichever you prefer. If you're someone that likes to be able to peel off your gel polish but also wants it to stay on for at least a week to a week and a half, this is what you need to do. So the first thing is buff your nails, make sure to get all the edges and corners 
In this video, I kind of have it edited so it doesn't look like I'm buffing very much, but I definitely took a lot more time than what it shows in the video. But um, buffing is important because gel will stick on to a rough surface rather than a smooth surface. In the first demonstration, as you could see, I did not buff my nails and that is one of the reasons that the base coat was able to peel off so easily, but since we now want them to stay on longer, we are going to buff the nails. And then I am just dusting off the excess nail dust. Next, I want to push back my cuticles and get off most of that dead skin around the cuticle area. This honestly just makes it easier to paint your natural nails, but it also helps to make sure the gel polish doesn't peel off early because if you do accidentally um, apply gel polish to even a little piece of dead skin that is on your nail, this will make it easier for the gel polish to peel off rather than if the gel polish was just applied to your buffed natural nail. I do prep my nails a lot so I did not have a lot of cuticles or dead skin to push back. Another thing that will help your gel polish stay on with your peel off base coat is applying either acetone, dehydrator, or rubbing alcohol to your natural nails right before applying the first coat of the peel off base coat. Any of these will help dehydrate your nails and just remove those natural oils so the gel polish stays on longer. The last step I'm doing is optional, I'm just filing a bit, and by the way, these prepping steps can also be used for other things like just using regular gel polish with no peel off base coat, or for gel X nails and anything like that, the, these prep steps can be used for that and will help your nails stay on longer. So now I'm just applying the Moran peel off base coat to all of my nails. And now I am applying my gel polish color. I decided to do something pretty simple for this video so I chose this nice light green color. For all of my nails except for my ring finger, I chose this glittery gold gel polish and ended up doing two coats of the gel polish colors. and then applied my top coat and some cuticle oil. Now we are going to see how well they peel off after a week and if they do last, how easy are they going to peel off after prepping the nails with the peel off base coat. So this is a video that I took at the end of day one and as you can see they look exactly as they did when I just finished them. They look brand new. This is now day two. I did not notice any chipping or peeling at all. They looked exactly the same as day one. On the third day once again it was perfectly fine. And on the fourth day, same thing, no chipping or peeling. And same thing on the fifth day. Now, I just wanted to mention this might be different for everyone. It varies from person to person. Some people, it might peel off quicker than what I had. And for some people, it might stay on longer than mine. You can kind of start seeing the gel polish grow out a little bit. There's a little bit of gaps in between my cuticle and the gel polish, but still no chipping or peeling. On the very last day of this trial, the seventh day, there was a little bit of lifting, but it really wasn't a lot, and they still looked really great. 
I actually wore them one last day and on the eighth day I actually did notice a bit of chipping so I would say you could probably wear these nails with the peel off base coat for around a week and a half before the chipping gets pretty bad. That's just kind of an estimate I would say but of course like I said it's different for everyone. But yeah, on the 8th day, there was a little bit of chipping, but it still looked pretty good. And now we are finally peeling all the gel polish off. My trick is to just go around the edges at first and then just peel it off and take your time. Go slowly and it should be pretty easy. I definitely do like using peel off base coat rather than having to buff your gel polish off and then soak it in acetone and it takes like 30-45 minutes. This only took me like 10 minutes or less so it is so nice. I quickly did want to mention for any of you guys that like doing gel X nails. I will say I do not recommend this peel off base coat for gel X nails. I have used it several times with gel X nails and I could never peel it off. So yeah, I would probably just look into getting a different peel off base coat for nails whenever I want to do gel X nails and peel them off. And I guess I forgot to hit the record button for my ring and pinky fingernail, but I feel like you kind of got the idea already. Now I'm just going to go ahead and buff off that excess gel that stayed on my nails. And then finally apply some cuticle oil. That's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you found it helpful. I would definitely recommend this peel off base for any of you that like to do gel nails on your natural nails. Make sure to like and subscribe. I have a really, really exciting video for next week. I am so, so excited, but it is a secret until next week. So definitely stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in another video. Bye!